Okay, good morning. With all the craze of the stay at home order, you know these Dalgonas have been a huge hit. I have found myself really addicted to them. They give so much, like caffeine, I think. Anyway, well, I got a new kit. And also, with these stay-at-homes, everybody's baby-making, huh? So, it's perfect time to design this kit. And um, I started talking about having a kit in June around April 22nd. And today is early May. I don't know, I didn't look at the date. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the first week of May. So I, I have already had my yarn for a bit and I have already swatched. I swatched with yarn that I had from my knot sweater, but my swatch was not that good. I will show you. And um, multitasking can be hard, especially when you need the coffee now. <laughs> Real life, folks, real life. I try and give you a little eye into it and be more vlog style. It's what I like to see, so hopefully it's what you like to see. Go ahead and give me a heart if that's something you agree with. Um, also, like I was saying, I have already done the first set of repeats for this blanket. And it's coming out so well. I'll show you that too. I'm gonna be loud mixing this up, so I'll be back. I tried it's just so dense and heavy and squished I didn't like the drape of that so I tried a size up and it's perfect so I'm gonna, these dogs here country life guys so I want to see how much, how many stitches I can get in like an inch here and then an inch across so I can get a rough estimate of yardage before I get to making. And then once I have it actually made, I'll go ahead and get my four inch by four inch gauge.
have been working on this for a few days already. The bottom kind of curls up here, but I have all intentions of adding an I cord. Um, I did want to start off with the I cord and then create the I cord edging as I'm going, but um, when I got to start to do it, it just wasn't working out. So I think it'll look a lot cleaner if I add it at the end. But I am loving this texture so much. And it's really fun to work with. Um, just looking at the blue while it's in like the finished look. After looking at it in the skein, excuse my, I, I need to get some nail polish remover for that one nail. But, um, and then looking at this, like, as it comes out of the cake, it has like this spin to it of different blues. You see how that it's darker and lighter and it twirls, but you can't tell, it just gives that extra texture. I just love it. I just love it. So I was also wanting to add that I watched a little video earlier today. Well, it was like an Instagram live and I didn't ever realize that colorways can, can affect the gauge too. You know, I had gauged in that whipped cream colorway and then when I started working on this navy, is this navy? I don't think I've even really shared it with y'all. It's spectrum. It's blowing it out. Spectrum. Well, that's neat. It's kind of spacey. I like that. Okay, back to topic. So, um, I didn't realize that that could even be a thing, that the colorway can affect the gauge. So it was obvious on this one for me because when I started working with this spectrum, it was different. And I also got to thinking that maybe since I did the swatches, rats. I don't know if this is becoming a thing where phone calls interrupt my videoing. Anyway, what was I saying? Since I did the swatch in pattern, I may have struggled with counting the stitches. So, I don't know. I went ahead and did a gauge swatch with this one in stockinette so that I could know, like, my tension and that my in the design people can know the tension and it'd be easier for them to count as well so if we get the same kind of tension i'm going to hope that we can get the same kind of tension within floats too so i did add into the notes and if you make this this is very key that you spread out your stitches to maintain that float and that's where the design comes from I'll get an in-action video for y'all um, at some point during this process. But I'm really loving it. It's taking time. You know, knitting takes time. But I am just, it's like an easy repeat. And I mean, it's not absolutely the end of the world if you don't get the same size as me. But for the kit purposes, um, you will want to make sure to get the right gauge so that you can use the proper yardage, which is what you get in the kit, right? <laughs> oh, I hope that you guys enjoy this as much as I do.
Y'all, I officially finished it. I know this is really dark lighting, but um, that's my border. I'm hoping that the um, wrinkle in it comes out when I wash it. I tried to skip like every other one and then I think, because just picking it up and kind of going like this, look at that stretch. That's gonna grow quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing how, how it washes. But I love this texture. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so the whole point of adding the applied I-cord border was so that it would lay flat and not curl. And then the edges here, I know they had some wrinkle because, you know, you're slipping stitches, but hopefully I've gapped them enough and that when washed, the stitches relax and that won't be as much of a wrinkle, but I'm leaving the ends out so it has plenty of room to grow the way it needs to. Um, I added like extra knit and purl rows at the beginning and the end, um, thinking it would give the space for the I-cord edging and make it easier also to get into. Um, I guess you don't necessarily need it, but obviously if you want this stroller size, which is 35 inches tall and 30 inches wide, then I would stick to this. Um, I do love this texture so much. I'm just concerned with how this is gonna block. I think it will be okay. I mean, this is my first issue in designing this. Otherwise, it's been pretty smooth sailing. I had the design written before I even received the yarn. So I was really thrilled to be able to follow my own pattern while making it. So I almost felt like I was making somebody else's design. And it did take a while to knit. Knitting takes longer than crochet but I got to really think about this baby as I was making it and really send the good love within this blanket and it did become rather meditative. So if that's what you're into, this is totally the project for you. And I do think this is gonna be a nice heirloom and great keepsake for the baby. Okay, here's the fun part, guys. I have extra comfy cotton. So, that means that somebody gets to win their own batch to make their own. I have whipped cream from the knot sweater, and then I have... Um, also cakes from the spectrum. I have two in a little bit, or two in 
one that I used already. Um, and then I have two and one that I used of the Comfy Cotton in whipped cream, but I do have this much too. So I will send Comfy Cotton your way. Leave a comment on here and you will be entered for the drawing and the kit officially comes out on Wednesday or on Thursday on Thursday the 25th so I will um, comment or reply back to the person who wins just having a nice mini relaxing poolside celebration with myself <laughs> look at Ollie what's up boy so uh, I got the pictures done I actually used my DSLR camera this time and my stepdaughter edited the photos for me so that was really exciting um, I have a Canon Rebel I really would like to upgrade to the next level because it does come with a Bluetooth option mine does not so I have to like pull it up on my computer and I don't really have the software to edit or upload raw files in my computer um, I can't remember what version it is. A Rebel something. Uh, anyways, I definitely think that I might try to do that more often with my kits for sure. Just to up my photo game because, um, iPhones are nice pictures, but there's more I can do with the DSLR. And it just seems more crisp. So today I finished tidying up my pattern and it's in the template all nice and pretty. And um, now I'm gonna send that in. Once my pictures came in from my stepdaughter, I sent those in immediately. They were so exciting. <laughs> anyway, here's... Um, the photos for you. I did take some on my iPhone of just the blanket before I left to hang out with my um, grandbaby. <laughs> so his name is Eli Jonas and this is his first release into the world really. Maybe he'll be a famous YouTube baby. He's pretty freaking cute. <laughs> 